You know, we're always talking about the connection between great literature and great film. Have sword here. No, it is not the mark of Zorro. Today we are talking about knives, stabbing, dying. We are talking about Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, published in 1599. Well, sort of published. It's about the time they think that the play was put on in his uh, theater. One of the first plays it was put on in his own theater, uh, which was Stratford-on-Avon. Now, there are a number of film versions of this. They're pretty good, too. In 1950, uh, there was one where Charlton Heston and played uh, Mark Antony quite remarkably. Then about three years later in 1953, Joe Mankiewicz MGM, Technicolor, big deal, uh, did it again. Um, this time it was Marlon Brando who played uh, Mark Antony, did a wonderful job with that speech. There was a BBC version in 1979, and the one I would like to talk about is one of the most recent versions, which was one for television. It was made in 2002. Um, what's interesting about this is the actor Christopher Knopf, yes, the guy from Sex and the City and the guy from Law and Order, played a uh, general who was a rival of Julius Caesar's, uh, someone named Pompey did a wonderful job quite remarkably he did a very very good job playing this part what's interesting about this is I can't remember who played Julius Caesar I do remember Christopher Natho playing Pompey a lot of good versions always a good idea to see a movie read a play in this case we're talking about classic wonderful perfect literature Julius Caesar do your best to read it and watch it